My name's Tom Kendall and today we're going to be going through my home workout routine which is mainly going to be body weight and if any of these exercises don't work for you I'm going to also do an alternative to each of the three exercises that I'm going to run you through. Right, let's get into it. Right guys, the first uh, exercise is going to be press ups. So that's obviously just going to work the chest, the shoulders, the triceps. Also going to work the core to keep your your bum in the air, and it's going to work your legs. You're keeping that tension to keep your entire body rigid. So push-ups are really good to kind of work the entire body, and obviously you know, your back's going to be used as a stabilizer muscle as well. So we're just going to do these to failure uh, with body weight exercises. I really recommend just you know pushing it as hard as you can, going to to fail you because otherwise you're not you, you're not going to be able to gauge you know how hard you've worked it's really really should be do press-ups until you can't do any more press-ups and you, you know you're going to be making as, as many gains as you possibly can okay guys so for the press-ups you're going to want to keep your hands about shoulder width apart directly beneath your chest um try not to use your shoulders too much when you're pushing up really feel that like tightness on your chest and push through that feet back and have them apart you know adjust yourself if you feel like you need to squeeze your bum cheeks squeeze your legs so that everything stays rigid and straight go down push straight back up again so did about 20 press ups there. Using crap form won't get you anywhere, except for backache. So make sure you do it like I showed you how to. Right, now this is for you guys that struggle doing press ups. Yeah, if you can't do press ups, um, what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna wanna get yourself a step like this. Just, just a sofa or a poof or anything like that. Raising the elevation of your upper body, not your feet. You put your hands on this, because if you put your feet on it, that's gonna make it harder for any of you guys that wanna make it harder. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's because like gravity is working more against you or something. But yeah, putting your hands at more um, means- Yeah, put your hands at more. Um... Oh, this is testing my uh, knowledge. I don't know. Raising your hands up makes it easier. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to do that now. Come on. That was awkward. Right. Oh, bloody hell. Right, so you just wanna put your hands, shoulder apart, your feet back like that, squeeze your glutes, and just go down. Push straight back up again. Yeah, we're just gonna smash out a few of these now. Right, so that's, I don't even know what you call them, frontal, frontal inclined press ups, whatever, on the bench. Anyway, moving on to the next exercise. Right, next exercise, pull ups. Obviously one of the best, um, you know, body weight exercises you can do. Being able to lift your own body weight is in my opinion, uh, an essential skill. You know, if I'm hanging off the bridge, I can do a pull-up. I'm sorted, yeah? Sorted. You know, you're just gripping it like that. Just pull yourself up. Like, just think of this. This is, you know, one of the main reasons I got into fitness, you know, at the age of 15. It's because I want to be physically able to do things. Again, I can't do many pull-ups. I can do 10 at the most. Uh, but you know, we're going to want to make sure we're going all the way down, all the way back up again, chin over the bar. Yeah, obviously pull-ups work your entire back, uh, biceps, you know, the girls love biceps, you know, just get some monster forearms. Right, let's just get into it, because I'm waffling. Right, so all you want to do, literally, don't do a wide grip. If this is your first time doing pull-ups, forget a wide grip or anything like that. You want to make it as easy for yourself as possible. So just shoulder width right above your head. Um, 
hold on to the bar, put your thumb over the bar, like this, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, you know, if you put it under, you know, you've got less grip. Um, think about monkeys. They can't move their thumb yet. So when they're like grabbing stuff and swinging from tree to tree, they're like this man, yeah? You see how many pull-ups they can do? Yeah, all the way down, all the way back up again. Right, not my best effort, that was seven in a row, maybe eight. Somebody leave it down in the comments how many, how many pull-ups can Tommy do? What if you can't do pull-ups? I really do recommend that you try and get better at pull-ups. And people who tell me they can't do pull-ups, how do they get better at pull-ups? And the answer, my friend, is do pull-ups. Right guys, last exercise. All you're going to need for this one, a mat, which I'm going to put down, and a sick pair of abs. Joking, this is to get the abs. We are going to be going to failure on these sit-ups. Well, I can usually get about 30 in. I don't want you to stop doing sit-ups until you can't do any more sit-ups, yeah? Um, there is an argument that sit-ups is like bad for your back or something. I will admit I can feel the tension on my lower back, but it doesn't progress into the next day. Yeah, just, just look after yourself, right? If it really, really hurts, don't do it and do the alternative that's coming up next. Right, I do appreciate that this angle completely sucks, but I'm lacking decent hairstyle but more importantly good camera equipment this is all shot on iphone apple hit me up just watch what i'm doing you don't need to see my pretty face to understand what's going on so get something like this a massive cupboard a sofa i know all of you have got a sofa because you spend all day sitting on it mate uh, or a bed or anything in your house as i keep saying that won't fall on you if your cupboard falls on you, that's not my fault. You're just an idiot. Secure your feet underneath it, shoulder width apart, hands on the old tet, and you're just gonna wanna kinda roll back. The reason for the mat is because I'm a bony asshole, so it hurts if I do too many. But yeah, we're going to fail it. Right guys, we smashed that one. 25 sips there, I usually do about 30. But I'm keeping it short and sweet. Right, alternative to the almighty sit-up, leg raises. Now, back in the day, back when I was in year 10, a whole two years ago, I used to, you know, want a six pack badly to impress the girls. So I searched up on the internet, sick ab workouts for teenagers like me and my favorite one was leg raises and leg raises are good because they actually do target your lower abs more which is for me anyway the ones that the fat covers up the most uh, it works on the v-line as well could get a bit of oblique action in there if you go side to side but we'll just keep to the bog standard uh, regular leg raises for now so First of all, lie down like this. Make sure you're rotating your pelvis forward. Yeah, so there's this, where my back is arched, and then there's that, where it's flat against the floor. Splay your arms out like that to make it harder. If it's too hard, put your hands under your bum like this. If it's too easy, put them like this. Put your legs out in front of you and just bring up like that. I only did 10 of those there. Yeah, you guys just make sure you're pushing it hard, okay? I'm gonna carry on with my workout and I'll get back to you afterwards. Right, so that's the entire circuit done. You're gonna wanna repeat that about four times. Um, if you're doing, you know, as many reps as I am, you're gonna get to about 100 press-ups, 100 sit-ups, 30 pull-ups, and just think, if you keep it on top of that every day, you're gonna make significant progress and you're gonna keep yourself active for when you get back in the gym which fingers crossed will be happening soon. I think it's 12th of April or something. In terms of rest, 
I take five minutes rest in between each one. Just keep increasing or decreasing it based on personal preference. Because that's what this is all about. I give you the tips, I give you the layout, and then you change it and make it good for yourself. Here's a Tommy sexy working out montage. <sighs> so guys, unfortunately, that is the end of this video. Um, if you like the video and you have more than one finger, please hit that thumbs up button, otherwise I'm going to assume that it's one or more of them is just stuck up your own arse. Hit the big red button. Follow me on Instagram at TomKFitness. Now, it's time to try and get a sick thumbnail.